Hey, this is Pavan. Welcome to Technophile Sir. Today we are going to talk about Dialogflow. But this time around we are going to use Dialogflow for Google Assistant. So let me show you what I have done. Then we can continue talking about the project. So I have built a private agent for myself. And I can ask Google Home to talk to private agent. That's how you invoke applications in uh, Google Assistant. So talk to private agent. All right, getting the test version of private agent. So, hey, Pavan. Private agent gets triggered. Then I can ask, can you please play Sorry by Justin Bieber? Sure, let's get your song playing. Talk to private agent. All right, getting the test version of private agent. Hey, Pavan. Can you please play Sorry by Justin Bieber? Sure, let's get your song playing. So, you can see that started playing the song. So, this is what I've done. Um, so to start from the beginning, what I've done is created again a project on Dialogflow uh, that captures the intent, basically the song request. So songs is the intent that I have created here. So <clears throat> just one training phrase guys, one that is nothing but can you please play the song name. And from there I'm capturing the song name. and. Uh, this particular response is filled, fulfilled by webhook. So I have this enabled. So what this does is that whenever a request comes to this particular intent, that will be routed to the web, webhook. So in the webhook section, which is under the fulfillment here, so I've deployed an Heroku app um, with the endpoint details here. So you can also um, deploy your webhook through cloud functions, Google Cloud functions, or AWS, um, Lambda. I mean, basically, um, you can deploy in multiple ways. Uh, basically, all it needs is endpoint that receives request and sends the uh, required response. So, again, there are multiple ways you can develop that. Uh, what I have done is using Python Flask server, basically. Um, the ideal candidate would have been node and uh, because it has already the required um, SDKs for Dialogflow, but whatever, I have developed it using Python and what, okay, I'll show you that particular piece as well, but uh, again, so this calls this particular endpoint with the request and it responds with the response. So in the, um, Python server side section, what I've done is that this is a route that I've defined. And for this particular route, what it receives is um, the request. In the request, it search for the action that it that we want to perform. If it is find song, then I'm calling the method find song and play. And inside the find song and play, first we have to find the related songs for the keyword that user is requesting for. So the first part is to search for the song URL. So search song URL gets triggered with the keyword of the song. And uh, in this particular scenario, okay, um, this required little research actually. Um, the thing is that I have a Spotify premium account right now. So I don't need to bother about um, building a private agent for playing songs but having said that Spotify is a premium account if I want to get these songs from a particular source I I mean basically Dialogflow expects an mp3 link an mp3 link uh, with the song URL and it too uh, with HTTPS not with HTTP so um, I don't want to uh, use um, you know um, this part of, I mean I don't know how Spotify API works as well so so what I know is that the, 
good source will be YouTube. So if I can get MP3 link from YouTube, that would be good. But YouTube to US says that you cannot separate video and audio. So ideally it is not the source that you can expect from, but I found this particular um, project that someone has developed uh, called anyaudio.in, which um, you know extracts the um, mp3 out of video using a software called youtube real um, there is a quite a bit of research that went into that particular direction i don't want to talk more about it but having said that all it does is nothing but searches the keyword based on the song keyword that you enter it finds the video and it extract it extracts the audio from that particular um, video and generates the url that you need so I'm calling that particular API to get the uh, MP3 link. Once I have the song URL, I'm going back and uh, sending the response in the required format that uh, uh, Dialogflow wants. Uh, again, um, there's a catch here. Dialogflow is not uh, capable of handling um, uh, what I can say um, the video or audio request basically it is interface I agree but it doesn't have the capabilities for um, playing videos or audio so the right source would be the actions on Google which uh, can of course what I'm trying to say here is that for example a chatbot if you're talking to a chatbot can chatbot handle uh, a video request or is audio request you cannot right so you need to have necessary capabilities for it to work on so there is a kind of format for which you can um, or there is a certain format that allows to expect from you so if I try to request the same song here for example can you please play uh, sorry by Justin Bieber you see that it's not playing right now uh, the thing is that um, in the response, um, it cannot handle rich response. So what it handles is this simple response. Sorry, not this simple response. This fulfillment message, and this is what is being displayed right now. So Dialogflow doesn't handle that, but uh, your Google Actions handles. So that's what it does, and I've kept this particular um, project source code available on GitHub if you want to check it out. Um, I think that's all guys that's what I have for the day thanks for watching have a good day bye